Today's Super Sweet Sunday video is Bill Beer's Combat Basketball. Now, I don't want to say it's a complete piece of garbage because um, there are good things about it. Um, it came out in 1991. It was made by Hudson Soft, and um, an old company. Um, Bill Beer was like this really great center for the Detroit Pistons back in the early to mid 80s through like 1991 he played every game every year they're known for being really physical so they're like hey why not make a team called combat basketball or a game called combat basketball since um, Bill and Beer always roughs people up on the court so they did and this is the game so one cool thing about this game is they have leagues and if you the top two teams in the league get moved up to the next league and the bottom two teams get moved down so it's like relegation there are 14 games in each um, season, and then you have like wins, losses, and ties. Um, you get so many points, so it's kind of like soccer. Uh, you can also like name your guys, so this is like Danger Dudes. So I'm just gonna be the Danger Dudes, right? So, basically you have a certain amount of money, so I have $10,000 in my account, and you can buy players. So this is my team and how good they are. Like that guy, his name's Ian Seven, it's a wolf design and made him and then he, it's a one to five stars how good they are at each thing so you start off with a really crappy team but as you play and win games you get more um, and you can save it to the cart which is cool um, anyway so I'm gonna show you it's really cool like and Bill Ambeer is a great basketball player the Pistons of the 80s which Bill Ambeer is part of it was Lambeer, Dennis Rodman, Joe Dumars and Isaiah Thomas I can't remember who the other person was they are actually the only team all time to not have a losing record against the Bulls, the Lakers, and the um, Celtics. So they were had a winning record against Larry Bird, they had a winning record against Michael Jordan, they had a winning record against Magic Johnson. And that was like the only only team. So then there's the Premier Division there, Division One, Division Two, and then Division Three, which is what I'm in. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how crappy this um, this game actually is so let me fix the video screen there a little bit there we go so this is the field or the court I guess um, and I'm the green team and basically checking is okay because you're people that are or robots rather that are made by a company and you're allowed to check people uh, B does everything so B jumps B pushes B passes B literally does everything. There's no way to change players. Um, so you just get to move and pass and hopefully things go right. So this game, like I said, it's, um, it's an interesting idea. It's got these robot things. The league idea is super cool. Um, and there's a good shot. And there are these power-ups, like there's a buzzsaw, so it's gonna go kill that person. But like here, I can't get out of there. It's a little messy. I actually really like this game, but not because it's a good game. And not because it's a bad game either, but it's things like, like I wanted to get that saw, and I couldn't because the game just decided to change for me, to change players. Um, there's no goaltending, so they can just snatch the ball out of the air if they want. Um, there, the only, there's only two penalties. One is out of bounds, and the other one is backcourt violation. So, I don't know why, but that's how it is. Um, these power-ups do different things. Little things that look like hockey pucks, it, that's the currency. Look at that, that's crazy. Um, that's the currency, and that was a bad pass. That's my fault. I just thought I was passing to the guy over here, but... Um, then there are... Uh, let's see if other, other stuff pops up so I can show you what they are. There's some more currency. That's like the main thing that I try to go for. So like sometimes your shot's just off like that and there's nothing you can do about it. You just took a shot from the wrong spot on the court. So there are certain spots on the court that are better for shooting than the other ones. Um, the M down here that you see down here is bad. If you step on it, you um, blow up. So it's not like a, a thing that hurts the other team, it's a thing that can only hurt you. So like there's no way to make a shot from that position on the court. That really bothers me. 
Uh, another thing that really bothers me, like I said, is you can't change um, who you are on the court. So wh whatever you're a player, that's the player you are. You just have to be them for forever, no matter what. Another thing is like you can't change really who you're going to pass to, or it doesn't go directly to a player. So like if you just get unlucky and you're not pointed at one of your own players, the ball just goes infinitely to a wrong place. So that's really bothersome as well. Um, but like you just can't really do anything like this. There aren't very many top-down basketball games either. They're kind of weird. I've seen um, there's another one I think called like Hoops for NES that was like that, um, that had a lot of the same problems this does. And the concept is cool, like, oh, you can beat each other up and you can snatch the ball out of the air. And there are like things like this saw that if I hit it, it's gonna go after the, the person uh, on the other team, which is really cool. Um, the league mode is awesome. Um, I wish the league mode was better. The P makes you run faster so people can't catch you, which is what happened there. Um, the computer got that. But like there, that computer was on the ground and he um, he stole the ball from me while like laying on his back, which is weird. And when it's halftime, no matter where the ball is, it just disappears. Another weird thing, like if it's in the air in real basketball, I know this is combat basketball with robots and stuff, but it's just strange. Um, so those are like some of the main flaws in the game. Uh, what is good about the, pl the playing of the game, besides the power-ups, which we, we talked about? Um, the power-ups are cool. Um, it's cool that you can pick your players. In the exhibition, you can. Um, the league is up to eight players, I think. So, like, literally, you could play eight players with eight different teams, and you just play each other. Um, you can put as many comms as you want. You can play in different leagues, so if you had more than eight friends, you could play with up to 32 people, technically. Um, so if you really love combat basketball, that's cool. Um, you can just sit down and play uh, two, three-minute halves, which is something that, you know, it's a very short game. So that was cool, too. Um, there's no simulation, so there's no, like, general manager type thing. Um, where you can just like simulate your games and let's see how my team does. All the colors are pretty funny as well because it was the early 90s and things were weird in the early 90s. But this game is actually tons of fun to play couch co-op, like local multiplayer. Uh, I don't know why I say couch co-op, but local multiplayer in this game is so fun because you spend half the time like hitting each other, half the time like punching the ball out of the air. Um, half the time trying to like get to the pills or get to the mines or get to the the saws to mess your buddy up so like playing this game with your friend is so much fun um, but unfortunately playing against the computer is not a ton of fun and um, you know I my cousin had this game I rented this game many times um, but it's really more fun playing it with people. After getting this game again for $1.99 on Amazon, um, I will tell you that playing the game with a friend is so much better than playing alone. Like right now, this game is just kind of like, whatever, I can talk about this game, play this game at the same time, and it's like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, it doesn't take much concentration because you could make a really good play, and just because your guy's not lined up right, there's no possibility that you can make the shot. Like, that shot should have gone in. I know it's the computer, and I'm, like, anti-computer, but, like, that shot should have gone in. 100%. He was right under the hoop, and... It just, like, just did go in. Like, I'll get this in the paint. I'll be perfectly lined up. That one went in, but a lot of them don't. And when you're this close to the basket, like, that should not miss. That should be... And that one shouldn't have gone in. So the shooting really bothers me, the passing really bothers me, not being able to change people really really bothers me a lot. Um, more even bothers me is when I'm like on defense and I am somebody and it just switches for no reason. That really bothers me. Um, you can't take a shot at, outside of half court. There's just a lot of things that are problematic with this game. But if you have two people, it's lots of fun. 
So anyway, 31, I guess, is a good score because they scored seven. So a lot of stuff in the 30s. So um, I made $40,000 from getting those little hockey pucks throughout there. And so what I can do is I can like trade somebody, like this guy's not very good, and I can find a guy I like better. Like, honestly, for $100,000, that guy's a lot better than this guy for 120. Um, and since I sold that guy, I have 187.5 now. Lightning is really good. Wolf 500 is really good. Um, but other than that, um, not until you get up into like, this guy's pretty good, but he costs a lot of money. So I'm gonna get Wolf five, 500. Um, so I'm gonna put, let's see, I have Carl, Pietro, who look like almost similar. Two wolf 500s and let's see. Hmm. So I guess I'm gonna put the wolf 500s in the front court. Put him in the back court. Oh, I guess it's not front court and back court. I'll put them at the sides and then I'll put the bad guy in the middle. All right, so it's just kind of how it is. You can save your league like that. Um, you can quit back to the main menu. And there's also, like I said, if you don't want to play a league and just want to sit down, play single game, you can pick how long the game is. Dear God, 30 minute game would be too much. You can pick the um, difficulty and you can pick how many players you want. In this case, you don't get to pick a, a team like, you, you just get whatever random robots are on the team. So you don't get to pick a team. So I'm going to play one more game here. and um, But you've pretty much seen what they have to offer. There are different court designs. I, that's another thing. The art is interesting in this game for 1991. The art is not bad. Um, if you've played Mega Man Soccer, it's by a completely different company. Capcom did Mega Man Soccer, and this is Hudson Soft but both of them are um, similar type of games that have similar problems. And I I enjoy both of them. This game sucks as a one player game. Uh, I enjoy it as a two player game. And the lead, there's so much good stuff going on in this game. Um, but they get so much wrong that it kind of cancels out the good stuff. So, like, right now I'm just like running around. I'm up 11 to zero in the first 20 seconds of the game. Look at that, like that shouldn't happen. You should not miss a shot by that much. Um, that's half the fun though when you're playing two players, um, stuff like that, or like you go to, you're trying to run away from somebody and you go to, um, shoot and it passes instead. Or like that, where I tried to pass the guy right next to me and it was like, nah, you're not gonna pass to him. You're gonna pass to nobody and get a backcourt. Like, it's just, the game plays a little bit of a mess. The menu system, the building your own team, um, even though that one guy should be, I did not go backcourt there, but that's okay. Um, that kind of stuff is really cool. And I wish, I wish this game was better because it could have been like a masterpiece. Um, it was the first basketball game released for SNES. So this is the first thing you got to choose from. It came out a year after the system did. So it was not a launch title. It was a whole year later. And then eventually they had um, NBA Jam, of course. They had Tecmo Super Basketball, which was actually a very good game. Um, in fact, until NBA Live 95 came out, I think that Tecmo Super Basketball had the best game. And they were the only game on SNES, and I think they had it on um, Genesis as well. Look at this, I, I couldn't get that to go in. Um, that actually, I think they had the license to use Michael Jordan. And I'm not 100% sure that they did, but I, for something in my mind, I just remember them having Michael Jordan in that game, and I could be wrong. But 
in my brain, uh, I remember Michael Jordan for some reason being in that game. So, yeah, that's the game. A lot of times when you get up like 19 to zero like I am now, I just would go around and get all the power-ups and just look for the money like that. Because if you can get the money, that will help your team in the long run. So I would just spend time like, oh, I'm gonna dribble around. Oh, I got it stolen from me, that's okay. I'm gonna go for the money instead um, because I don't really care about winning because I'm already up 19 to zero and it's almost halftime. Oh, there's money. All right, I'll get that money. So you can see how there's problems. Now the cool thing is, like I said, when someone shoots, you can grab the ball out of the air. So when you're playing two players, that's lots of fun. Cause like, oh cool, like I'm gonna grab the ball out of your air when it's half when it's halfway there. And it's like, oh that should be goaltending. But you know that's a cool thing about playing two players. You know, the AI the AI is not dumb on this game either. Um, but I mean it is right now because I'm playing Division Three. But you can play on like amateur or professional, and it's it's better AI. The AI is not completely dumb. Um, and when the players get better, they actually do get better for both teams. A lot of times, like, your guys won't level up, but their guys will. That doesn't happen in this game. When you play harder guys, it's uh, better for everybody. Not just for them, not just for you. Everyone gets better. Um, but it's just the mechanics of this game are kind of a, a mess. And uh, Game Informer gave this a 2 out of... A 2 or a 4 out of 10. It's either 2 out of 5 or 4 out of 10, I can't remember. Um, all games gave this like a 1, out of, one star out of 5. Um, and they kind of said the same thing, like, so many good possibilities in this game, and it's just uh, kind of missed, missed its mark. So, like I said, if, uh, if I had friends over and they wanted to play Bill Ambeer's Combat Basketball, I'd be like, sure, I enjoy playing Bill and Beer's Combat Basketball with friends. Um, but playing Bill and Beer's Combat Basketball for like 30 minutes on a Saturday afternoon before I go out to dinner with my friends by myself against the computers, not a good time. Um, the person that requested this video actually requested that I do a whole season of Bill and Beer's Combat Basketball. And I said, well, season's 14 games, so why would you, you just want me to play 14 games and like beat every team? And he's like, oh no, when I said season, I meant I wanted you to win the division. I'm like, okay, I'm not playing 56 games of Bill and Beer's Combat Basketball. It's not good enough. It's not Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl is worthy of that time. This game is not. There's not even any slam dunks. Like you just go up there and just shoot your little jump shot in the trapezoid paint like we're playing in Europe or something. By the way, this game was supposed to take place in 2030 and I don't see any damn robots taking over the NBA. I'm just saying right now, like that's not gonna happen. One good thing is like, there is a little like semi-circle that goes around when you inbound so that they can't like knock your guy down when you're trying to get the inbound pass. That's actually a really good idea. That's one thing gameplay wise I'll give them credit for. But like, this pass should be bouncing like this. Like, these robots, and that would happen no matter how good your robots are. Are they finally going to score? They're gonna hit this three? Nope. Sure aren't. They sure take like six steps when they dribble too. Like that, that dribble animation is not, no, not that guy. The dribble animation is so bad. Clunk, 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 clunk. Clunk. Ooh. Just a few more seconds and I can be done with this game. Cool, so I won 28 to zero without even trying. So the last three halves of this game, I was behind five to four, and then since then I outscored them 55 to two. <laughs> so anyway, you go back after each game and then you can get rid of people. Um, like this guy sucks real bad, this guy sucks real bad. And I have 245,000. 
So I'll just get another lightning. I'm gonna get a lightning. So now I've got a lightning. So basically the only guy that I have really sucks is this Carl guy. I could probably trade him out next game for something good. Uh, I can trade him for a wolf right now. So like this is a pretty good team right now. Anyway, um, another thing is I don't think they should have mapped the pass button and the the jump button, the pass button, and the um, shoot button are all B. So B is you literally use the control pad and you use the B button. And other than that, you don't use anything else in the whole game. There, are, look at all the buttons on this controller. Look at all those. One, two. Of course, you got to start for, for pause. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Seven buttons. Besides the joypad, besides the start button, you have seven other buttons, and you used one button. And this game came out a year after, more than a year after the launch of the title of the system. So there you have it. Bill and Beer's Combat Basketball. Great to play with friends, a mess to play alone. Hope you've enjoyed this Royal Serp Gamer video. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Royal Serp Gamer. YouTube, you're watching me here, Royal Serp Gamer. Subscribe and like this video. And my email address is royalsurfgamer at gmail.com. If you want to play anything else for Super Sweet Sunday or do a series of, if it's small enough, or a whole playthrough um, from NES, SNES, Nintendo 64, or um, GameCube, let me know and I'll play it. Email me at royalsurfgamer or let me know on Twitter. All right? So thanks a bunch for watching this, um, and you'll see the after screen here in a second. So thanks for tuning in and watching another Royal Surf Gamer Super Sweet Sunday video. Thanks for watching this Super Sweet Sunday where I played Bill and Beer's Combat Basketball for the SNES. If you missed last week's Super Sweet Sunday video, you can catch Bad Dudes on the NES. It's kind of like Double Dragon. And if you still need to subscribe to me, click my face in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks again for watching the Royal Syrup Gamer.